Well, as we get close to Christmas, we are looking at prophecies concerning the birth of Jesus Christ uh, and what it means to us today. And so today we look at the book of Numbers, chapter 24, and verse 17. And it reads, I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star shall come out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and butter the brow of Moab, and destroy all the sons of Tumult. This prophecy was made by a very unlikely person, and his name is Balaam. Balaam was a false prophet, and, and he was a, a prophet for hire. People would hire him, pay him money to go and make a prophecy. So he was hired by a king called Balak, who was king of Moab. And, and this is at a time when Israel is in the wilderness. They're going to the promised land, but they're in the wilderness. And the nations are afraid of them. Uh, so the Moabites are very afraid because they've heard about uh, the story of Israel and what they have done to the Ammonites. And so now uh, King Balak goes to hire false prophet Balaam. He says, go and speak a curse over Israel. And so he collects his money. And he goes and he's going to declare a curse over Israel. And when he goes, uh, he opens his mouth to declare the curse, but then a blessing comes out. And, and it goes on for many times. And this is the culmination of what uh, Balaam said. So he's talking about an individual. He says, I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. What does that mean? In other words, I see something in the spirit. I see an individual, but the person is not here now, or it's not going to happen now. It's going to happen in the future. Something is going to happen in the future that is going to uh, bring liberty uh, to God's people. And so uh, he talks about two things describing this individual. He says, a star shall come out of Jacob. And uh, that means that this person will be a star. Uh, he would be bright. He would be brilliant. Uh, he would be, quote, unquote, a heavenly person. And so I see a star coming out of Israel. And that is the best description this false prophet could use uh, to describe Jesus, that he would be a star. Many people believe that the star that pointed a wise man to to the birthplace of Jesus was in response to this prophecy. Uh, it's not clear whether it's directly in response, but what we can say is that uh, Balaam, even the false prophet, couldn't help himself but speak about the coming Messiah. God has his way of using unusual people to declare his purposes. And so he says, a star will come. Uh, a heavenly individual will appear will shine. In the darkness of our world, he will shine bright. And then the second thing he says about this individual uh, that is coming in the future, he says that a scepter, a scepter is the, is the rod of rulership. And so this person is not just going to be a star, but this person is going to be a scepter. He's going to have authority. He's going to have rulership. Now, remember, this Balaam is supposed to speak against Israel, and now he's saying that this individual who will come out of Israel, the star and the scepter, will destroy all the other uh, nations, including Moab. Now, when he says that he will destroy Moab, it doesn't mean physically he will destroy them, but the, the gods, the idols, the worship of Moab will be destroyed by this star and this scepter that will come out of Israel. And in Christ Jesus, the star and the scepter appears and he brought light and he brought the kingdom of God into our lives. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, may the star and scepter of Christ overrule every evil conspiracy against your purposes. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.